Well, hello everybody. My name is Anthony Scott and I'm the owner of a Hapwork uh, virtual organ. And um, in front of you, you see my final version of my setup that has uh, basically evolved over a number of years, starting out in 2008 when I purchased three manuals, which in, the, in, front, of, in front of me is the uh, top three on this um, console where each uh, manual has those square thumb pistons which are basically micro switches uh, that have that click clicky feel to them but not very uh, pipe organ like uh, but certainly 100% functional and each keyboard has 20 presets which is more than enough than anybody would really want to need and then several years later I decided that I wanted to add a fourth manual to all of this so I added the uh, bottom manual here but at that, at that time I purchased it as a pistonless uh, manual, same um, Fatar plastic keys but with no pistons and then I added my own pistons that I happened to get from a Lowry electronic organ. Now let me just zoom in and maybe you'll be able to see if I focus this thing here, uh, maybe you'll get to see uh, right there that there's kind of like a housing uh, that these pistons are mounted on that move the um, thumb pistons away from the keys. Uh, if you use conventional uh, thumb pistons from uh, a regular pipe organ, they will interfere with the travel of the keys. And uh, if you want to purchase uh, keyboards that have the round, um, more conventional thumb pistons, they have to be special pistons so that they clear the keys. But in this case, they are just regular pipe organ thumb pistons. And with that housing on there, uh, it cleared the uh, key travel. So. Uh, um, I never had a problem. I don't have a problem with that, which is a good thing. And then over here, you will notice that um, I have uh, uh, Rogers, in this case, they are Rogers toe pistons. And uh, on the other side, you will see that I have a uh, different style. These happen to be Chance toe pistons, because this entire console is a Chance console that I acquired, I think it was in 2011 I got this, for uh, $400. It was the console, the pedal board, and the bench for $400, and it had three manuals on it, 66 stops. I removed the Chance uh, uh, pipe organ manuals and uh, sold them on eBay, but I kept the key cheeks because uh, I wanted to use them with my um, uh, Fatar keyboards, and as you can see here, uh, the key cheeks are right there. Now the organ came, uh, I, the organ had three uh, key cheeks on each side because it was because of the chance and then when I added the fourth manual it required that I add a, a fourth uh, key cheek and since they weren't available I had to make it myself so I just took two two by fours glued them together sanded it smooth so that you couldn't see the seam and then the difficult part was like uh, um, you know, uh, carving or grinding the end piece for that round round thing on you know concavity at the end there, and uh, uh, so it matches fairly well. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. So when I did get this console, uh, the um, the uh, chance uh, pedal board here had um, eight. It had eight uh, toe pistons on the left side and four on the right side. So I combined all of the Chance pistons on the left side and then I added uh, the uh, Rogers pistons on the right side, which I happened to get for nothing. Uh, so, but they don't match, but that's okay. I was operating under a strict budget. But if you notice above the toe pistons on the right side, there's three what appear to be like pedals or, you know, they're basically... Um, uh, the same as a um, toe piston uh, and then on the chance it was uh, uh, for manual coupling and the one on the right was a Schwarzander which brought everything on at once and then over on the left there's just one there which is also a manual coupler and then the um, swell pedals, the balance swell pedals in the middle are the original chance uh, swell pedals uh, balance swell pedals and what I did was rather than use the uh, rotating potentiometer 
I used the um, uh, slide potentiometers because they were a little more accurate and they fed very nicely into um, the keyboards, you know, uh, so that was good. Now the pedal board uh, was not a MIDI pedal board, of course, was it, it was the original Chance uh, pipe organ pedal board. So I was able to uh, midify that by um, using a uh, digital scanning board that I got from uh, um, Classic MIDI up in Canada, same place that I got the keyboards, and um, it was very easy. All I did was take 32 notes, one wire per pedal key plus a ground, and just basically uh, tapped onto the, uh, uh, the available posts on the uh, digital scanning board. And then you do what is called daisy chaining. You take the pedal board and then you can go to the bottom manual, then the next manual, then the next manual, and so on and so forth. And then finally at the end, the MIDI uh, cable goes into the computer. And uh, that's how that works. So, uh, that, so I converted the pedal board to uh, MIDI. Uh, I had to convert the um, toe pistons to MIDI as well because uh, they were uh, analog you know, for the digital uh, pipe organ, they were basically analog. The pedals, the little foot, whatever you want to call those levers that are above the uh, toe pistons, uh, they had to be um, wired and, and, and tapped onto the uh, digital scanning board to make it digital also. And also, the bottom, um, let me just zoom in on them, the bottom uh, keys here, the bottom thumb keyboard, the thumb pistons were also uh, analog. So I had to wire them into the uh, digital scanning board. Now the other three keyboards with the square pistons, they were all digital. So I didn't have a problem with that. It kind of made it easy. So and then if you notice on the uh, above the top manual, you will notice that I have um, um, some couplers there. I salvaged them from a pipe organ and uh, I was able to um, wire them into a scanning board as well. And then um, all of that kind of worked its way from the scanning boards uh, over to the uh, computer, which in this case is a Mac Pro Dual Quad Core that I uh, got in 2000, early 2008. It's very, very reliable computer. Uh, back then it had, had eight core, it has eight cores, 32 gigs of RAM, and um, was probably pretty close to top of the line computer at the time and um, today it's still fairly um, uh, powerful you know now I live in a, a condominium right now so I don't have the um, uh, I don't I don't have my audio system like I used to have when I had this organ in the house uh, but I do listen with headphones in this case they are AKG 701s and I have a separate subwoofer which really doesn't make any noise it just makes a lot of rumble nobody really knows where that's coming from but the one downside to the AKG 701s is that they have a relatively low output for headphones so what I did was I um, uh, purchased uh, at the recommendation of Brett Milan I purchased a uh, um, PreSonus HP4 headphone preamplifier and there's four there's room for four headphones there and I just have one in there and that works very well and over on the right hand side I have my uh, uh, Mac uh, keyboard that I use when I'm installing things and I want to rename them etc etc and then over here I have the uh, wireless uh, mouse for um, you know navigating on a keyboard and then of course the last thing I have here is these uh, touch sensitive uh, monitors which I got from Brett Milan again because he's done all of the research and uh, he wouldn't be selling anything that uh, wasn't compatible with his, uh, his uh, software etc. They work very well. I was very uh, cautious about um, getting uh, um, touch sensitive screens because I had heard things like they drift and uh, some, it's difficult to set them up etc etc but this was very simple so didn't have any problem with that at all now let's go over to the uh, let's go over to the uh, these couplers here now if you notice on these couplers I have crude looking um, 
these are cr crude looking paper uh, for the identifying what it is, you know, like one to pedal, two to pedal, three to pedal, four to pedal, and these are the other ones there. So you, you, the nice thing about hat work is you can do basically anything you want. Uh, you can make uh, the couplers uh, do whatever you want, you know, and uh, the reason they're in paper and not engraved is, uh, first of all, I want to spend the money. And the other thing was uh, I, I'm constantly changing my mind. And what I did was I utilized uh, some of the uh, thumb pistons under the uh, keyboards to um, uh, make them uh, couplers of one kind or another, you see. So, uh, and, this little, and then over here I have my uh, setter. The uh, combination uh, setter for preset presets, etc., etc., and then um, that's about it. So uh, I hope you enjoy my uh, my um, setup that I have here. Uh, this uh, is a great deal of joy to me, and I enjoy playing this every single day. Uh, it's bloody marvelous. I don't have to tell you how good Hapwork sounds, because everybody knows. If you're watching this video, you probably also have a hat work setup of one kind or another. So, okay, take care. Bye-bye.